Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to Abandoned Ship where we're gonna take command of a ship and her crew, explore a diverse procedurally generated world and engage enemy vessels in tactical combat. I played the combat demo for you guys a little while later and this is gonna be a reintroduction to the game with story mode. So we're gonna have to go through the tutorial first just to get you guys and myself fresh, even though I've done this uh, before. Very recently, we're gonna call our adventure Lost at Sea because that's how I do. I'm always lost. That's our world seed. We got player generated names and we will start. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, a final strand is cut. A burst of clarity, the horror of your recent existence, dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop in their knees, to their knees. Some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege. On a private balcony, you notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Knock surprise registers on the second before he is down too. You're unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You notice you look down and at your improvised weapons, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You're drifting, but something inside you snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with faint authority. No matter, the place is unguarded in our no, their moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys to the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who will you unlock first? So this is basically our crew. We've got Joshua Adams, Wilfred Gold, Georgie, and Boas. I really like the sound of gold. Um, a trained melee fighter. I love to do shipboarding. Uh, we definitely want a gunner. And I think we're going to take... We don't need a navigator. Ship repair. We've already got navigation on our captain. Um, performing maneuvers. Let's do... This can perform heal. Uh, and crew outside of the sick bay. I like this. Let's go ahead and unlock George here. Uh, you and your new companions surge through the labyrinth's passage. Finally, a door seeps in. A door. Light seeps in through the cracks of the frame. You close your eyes for a moment and the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down at the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for. A ship at anchor. It's likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. And this is where we start, ladies and gentlemen. Select crew, and this is, I'm just gonna kind of flash through the tutorial. It's basic movements, and I'm pretty much already familiar with them here. We have to cut the ropes. So it's, it's basically RTS um, uh, with pauses, you know, so it can be turn-based as well. Uh, let's take the captain here and go to the helm and we'll set sail. So yeah, if you remember my first combat demo, this is a lot like Faster Than Light or games like that. It's a, it's very, very fun, um, tactics game. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away the high priest at their head his screams reach your ears with drips with and drips with scorn heed me betray our father knows and sees you always you will never escape his embrace as he speaks the other cultists disperse no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels they'll be sending ships after us let's get out of here so this is our first fight the coastal fortifications open up the ship as it leaves the jetter mortar shells incoming Uh, Mortar Shell has reduced the crew member to zero health. When this happens, you have a short time to stabilize them. All right. We'll get the medic to stabilize them. Bam! That was fast. We good. The barrage has damaged the ship hull. Okay. When that's the ship's health. This is the sections of the ship that can be damaged. We'll need to repair. Actually, we can bring multiple crew members to repair beautiful this is gonna repair it faster okay 
healing the crew. Yep, that means you can bring them over to the med station here, and they heal up. Our medic can also heal them. <laughs> Just like that, that's pretty fast, man. Pretty fast. All right, it's not over yet. Take cover. Dang, Bobby. Dang it. Did we take it on water, boys? <laughs> We've been hit by weapons that cause hull cracks. These splinter the deck and make the shape ship take on water. There's a water gauge that will fill up. Uh, this will win you when the water gauge has reached critical levels. The bell will also sound when your hull health is dangerously low. Act decisively when you hear the bell or you may sink. Got you. So we've taken on a little bit of water here, but we can use the bilge pumps out back to fix that up. Keep pumping. <laughs> All right, that was easy. Uh, we're nearly out of range. One more barrage incoming. We're gonna need to do some more repairs here with fire this time. Yep, it's been struck by a weapon that can do fire damage. Extinguish the fire before it spreads. No duh, man. <laughs> All right. So now we're out of range, but stay alert, man. Flee! Hit the flee, the, hit the leave combat. And now we're in exploration mode, which is the part of the game that you haven't seen yet. Um, this is actually really cool. It's a map that we can select locations from. You can either click or hold the mouse. You can see the whole map, which looks like a painting canvas. It's really, really cool. Uh, this is the map of the immediate area. We have to go through the gate. Other gates cannot be open yet. Got you. And return to exploration mode here. So we can explore around a little bit um, just to see if there's anything in open water like treasure or more encounters. I don't know exactly what's available in exploration mode because I've barely scratched the surface of this game. But you and I are going to have a very fun adventure. This is one of the, the, the more fun games that I played uh, last year. And I've been very, very excited about playing it. Plus, the maps are procedurally generated, so there's a little bit of randomness involved. It's good. Here we go. All right. The gate is locked. Locked gates can be opened by completing a set number of events. And this is one of the events. A patrolling cult a ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns. We owe them no mercy. All right. Remember the lessons you've learned so far. So this is our first real battle here. Um, we shall man this gun. And we shall help man this gun. And we shall man this gun. So, basically, we have to man the guns so that the reload um, reload status completes. Moderate hull and section damage. We've already taken on shots here. Captain is, is doing it to it, though. All right. So, we target, we target them just like that. That was a very minor hit. Um, their hull damage just shows like this. And it will complete... Um, it will completely obliterate them if we keep hitting. Okay, same thing with us. We have a hull gauge as well. Um, so what's cool about this is we can pause the game, decide tactics. That way, if we want to change reloads and stuff, you can do it. Um, crew specialties, each has their own specialty, right? And we can hover or select them with the menu at the bottom. Active pause, we got that. Uh, distance bar, we can move closer. This is one of the strategies that I love to employ is getting close and ramp. Swivel guns will actually take away their ability to move away from us if we hit the mast a few times with them. And that is renew reduces their maneuverability, so to speak. So this is called the chain shot swivel gun. Get it fully loaded and we'll hit them and that'll slow them down so that we can get close enough to board. Ramp, of course. All right, a mini chain shot. See how fast we're we're approaching now. Swivel gun, grape shot. When it get real, real close, we can also man the grape shot. This is going to allow us to do damage to their personnel or their crew uh, immediately. It's an anti-personnel weapon. 
Uh, so this is really, really cool in conjunction with boarding and doing damage to them. Uh, plus, they tend to group up where repairs are and stuff, so you can do some crazy stuff here. Let's go ahead and hit their mast again. And boom, baby. Look at all that damage we did to the crew. All right, charging the maneuver bar. Let's ram the enemy. You can perform special maneuvers like this. Uh, when the maneuver bar is full. And look at their, their ship health, man. I'm actually going to take away my crew member from that because I don't want... Weapon not loaded. It's almost there. I actually don't want to uh, to damage their hull um, too much. I want to be able to board them. So let's ram them. Hold up, swole up. You can brace for impact test because ramming them causes us to stop. Like, we'll pause. Failing the test means crew fall to the deck, temporarily interrupting what they're doing. Could knock them off the ship, too. Let's brace for impact. And let's go, baby. BAM! <laughs> the enemy failed their brace test. An impact even caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. They can man the winch at the back of the ship to save them. Okay. Uh, we're going to stop that, though. We are going to stop that. Um, let's... Let's actually hit that weapon not loaded yet. Got you. Weapon not loaded yet. Uh, let's go attack these guys, shall we? I want this grape shot to load up, though. I don't think it's going to be ready in time. Gah! I think I hit my guys, too. Go help him out, man. Go help him. Yeah, jump across. Stab him in his eye. <laughs> we got him, boys. We got him. Get back to our ship. At the end of the battle, you'll be able to salvage anything of value in this tutorial combat. The enemy did not react as aggressively as they normally would. Uh, tougher fight next time. 20 gold or loot or booty. Don't need to worry about repairing the sections or healing your crew. That happens automatically when you go back to the exploration map. As long as you have water pumps. Going back to the exploration mode will automatically empty your water gauge too. Nice. So now we can just leave combat. All right. The gate's open now, and now we can go to the next unexplored uh, biome, or this is the world map. It shows, okay, travel between maps it has a supply cost. Okay, what's the supply cost? 25 fish it costs, or that's our food, I guess. So our, our, our supply stats are at the top left corner when I get out of here. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. And it feels good to finally be out of flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them neatly away knowing they may yet have their use. Examine yourself in the mirror. All right. This is where we create our character, huh? This little gen. Um, uh, we are going to go with light skin tone because we never get out of the house because we do YouTube for a living. Uh, you know, <laughs> you don't even recognize the face looking at you. Who are you? Uh, where are you? All you're certain of is that your past was stolen away by being you know as the father. So I guess that's the um, the the deity that we were serving, uh, or and the cult is for. Some spark within you pierced the fog of their blind devotion. Now you must kindle it before you have any chance of remaking yourself. Then hunt for answers and revenge can begin. Okay, you reemerge onto the deck. And the crew snapped to attention. We may have escaped, you begin, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go our separate ways. It's me thereafter. You return to your cabin and slump into a chair. Moments later, you a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his, his thoughts, uh, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Hmm. A sharp knock on the door awakes you. Moments later, you stride back into the deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before you can find the port. Uh, click the highlighted button. This brings us to our ship menu. This is the lone ship view. It allows you to change your default settings. It will be used in combat. 
Uh, preferred distance, we're gonna get up close here. Saving your crew so we can man grape shot. Uh, saving your crew positions mean that we'll start combat in your chosen place. Okay, so we want the gunner to be able to help us close position. And we want the other two guys... We want the medic in the middle, and we want these two guys manning these guns right here. And I think that should be good. We can save crew positions, and we can actually uh, return their positions just by pressing the home button, which is right there. Okay, the highlighted button can be used to bring the ship about uh, that swaps it around. This can be useful if you equip each side with different styles of weapons. Oh, neat. And return to the exploration map. Beautiful. Alright, you must continue to try escaping the occult and fleeing this exploration map. Locate the exit gate and complete the number of events to unlock it. Alright, so we go to our big map again, and it looks like it's to our right. Flee the area. The Reach cult ex uh, extends far. Escape the area. Okay, got you. So, let's sail a little bit. I know it's right there, but let's move around and look for some of those events, as well as some possible treasure. What are these here? These are the two... Unknown gate. Sail close to the gate, so it kind of shows you. Sail close to the gate and discover how many events need to be completed before it will open. I see. So let's head back there. Well, I say back there. To there. The water and the map is beautiful. Here's an event. Sail ho, your top man bellows. You race for your captain and squint hard into the rush of chill salt spray. There's no mistaking it. Those occult colors, they're getting bigger. If they remain at large, they'll carry news of our location to their foul brethren. We must sink them fast. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're already closing in on them, and I'm loading up the chain shot. 70, 80, 90. Weapon well, not loaded. Here we go. That ought to do it. It's going to help us gain... We'll, we'll, we'll stick a couple of shots in him. Holy crap, that was a hit and a half. All right. Maneuver bar is charging up. We'll be able to ram him soon. Come on, man. Get a little closer so we can grape shot him. There we go. Okay. So, maneuver bar is getting there. Maneuver bar is there. We're just not in, not quite close enough yet. Can we ram them yet? Yeah, we can. Here we go. Brace! <laughs> Brace, boys! Blam! How you feel about that, son? Alright. I should have grape shot it first. Okay. Let's get him, boys! Yes! Great. It's too late for grape shot. Whoa! Well, they sank! More people are going down, too! Uh, <laughs> victory! Huzzah! Victory is sweet, but sweeter still is the booty that remains. Uh, did it- did it kill any of my crew members? <laughs> uh, let's see... No, it looks like all my crew members are here. What happens if I just leave combat right now? I still got my crew members. <laughs> That's awesome. So all you have to do- I- I didn't mean to sink, uh, the ship there. I should have stopped shooting it. Or at least they, maybe they took too much damage from the ram. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's get closer to this exit here. And we'll see what it wants. Oh, there's something. Hold on, let's get closer. One of four events. Okay. So it shows one of four. And it actually shows right here, too. Okay. 
Uh, your heart skips a beat as you notice cold colors flying high into the horizon. You maintain course of speed. After all, no reason to suspect you at a distance. As the minus, as the minutes drag agonizingly on, the cult ship vanishes without sight. The crew allow themselves an extra ration of grog. In other words, we took a drink because we not crapping in our sh our shorts anymore, or whatever we wear. Ceremonial flowing robes, not anymore. Now we're probably in like Hawaiian shirts and stuff. We're not really pirates. We're kind of just escaped sailors, I would say. I don't know. I kind of looked like a pirate <laughs> a second ago when I, I made my character. Where's all the good stuff? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Treasure, baby. $20. 20 booty. I mean, technically, if we call in it booty, we're, we're pretty much pirates, right? We're pretty much pirates if we call in it booty. That's just, that's what pirates get, booty. All right. So it would be nice if we would find more treasure here. I love the way the map updates. It's gorgeous, man. The water's beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Event. Long formation of ships of the line indicates a prominent cult fleet. One of the smaller ships peels off to investigate you more closely. We must flee. Attacking now would be tatamount to suicide. Although the cult ship is quite dogged in its pursuit, you eventually lose them. Nice. That's three of four events. Quest. You drop to your knees. It feels like a lightning storm inside your skull, and you sense a massive ancient intelligence emerging from it. Uh-oh. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water. And it's approaching fast. Full speed ahead. Um, oh my god. Uh, that's a lot faster than my ship. It's gonna catch me. It's gonna catch me. <laughs> I can't get away from it. I think this is supposed to happen. You can't avert your eyes as the ro royal closes the distance. Whatever it is, it's upon you in mere moments. Uh, the Kraken. You're not prepared to best such a beast. Fight it off and flee. When you when your maneuver bar is full, flee button to indicate your desperate retreat. The bar around the button will fill up once it's full. Your ship will successfully flee the area. Okay. Um Wow. Oh yeah, it zooms in, huh? What? Crazy. All right. Invalid target. I guess I'm gonna, um... I guess I'm just gonna come and... Uh, I wonder if personnel would help. Wow! All right, we gotta fix stuff. Sever tentacles that bind the ship. Oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Uh, we're not gonna change the captain's place though. Maneuver board needs to fill up immediately. All right. Whoa. Now flee before it attacks again. If you don't flee in time, you'll repeatedly be attacked. The boar will only charge if someone is manning the ship's wheel. We know that. We know. We know. Uh, does anybody have any injuries? No, we good. We are good. And the repair is not that bad. Maneuver board not charged. Yeah, we know. It's going to attack again. So awesome. Alright. Maneuver board is not short. There it is. Oh, uh, is it? God dang it. Alright. Alright, we're cutting. We're cutting already. Good. It's done. Let's go. Now flee before it attacks again. We know. We know. I'm fleeing. All right, turn, 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 baby. Turn, baby, turn. Oh man, it's coming again. So we're gonna take three hits all together, it looks like. George! You ready, George? All right. Alright, we're doing it to it. Trapped! Yep! 
<laughs> Before it attacks again. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. We know. We're almost there. We're almost there. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. We out. Bye. Get your hentai tentacles away from me. You've wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. You should not dally. All right, we're not dallying. We gone, boys. We are gone. Uh, event number four. Your current bearings lead you to a head-on clash with a vessel flying cult colors. We can't risk them spotting us or revealing our location attack. Or bring the ship about. Let's, uh, let's attack them. All right. Loading them up, boys. Loading them up. We should start loading this one is what we should do. Actually, let's do this instead. There we go. That way we can come off the cannons after a little bit. Ouch! Hey! Hey, that sucks. Go to the uh, medical uh, thing and, and fix yourself up, man. Sheesh. Also, can you... Can I heal it? Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Go back to manning the cannons. Dude! I don't know who's got the rifle, but that thing seriously sucks. Can't medic myself, can I? I can medic myself. Oh no, heal another crew member. Got it. Okay. We're gonna get closer here. In just a moment. In just a moment we'll get closer. Can I hit them from here? I think I can. Yeah, baby! Yes, yes, yes. All right, also, what I should do is switch these guys up real quick so I can heal him. Okay, we're close enough for ramming now. We're gonna have to brace here. Brace. Braced! Yes! Nice. All right. Jump aboard, boys, and get the fighter on board, too. Let's do this. Everybody's down. Oh, baby, it's on now. It's on. Y'all going down, boys. <laughs> we hit them fast and hard. Hey. Help. There we go. Oh boy, <laughs> he's boned. <laughs> nice. All right. So we have, we won the battle. Victory. Your crew finds a great trunk in the hold, preserved fish and citrus fruits. Welcome provisions for recovering their strength. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And now we can leave combat. So we repair automatically now for going out, and we also heal. See that, that repair? Yeah, hull integrity. Got you. Okay. And now we head to. We got four out of four events unlocked. Now we can go to the next section. Beautiful. Who? Now the danger has passed. The crew bombarded you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult worship it. It's part of what they call the Great Project. You refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible for their sake and yours. And we flee the area, boys and girls. The dull ache in your head recedes slightly as you realize you can't remember a time without it. You feel more like yourself again and wonder what it would be take to banish the ache entirely. All right. The charts you found in the captain's cabin show a nearby port land safe from the infernal monster. Find a port where the crew can be safe. All right. If we take a look at our map here, uh, it looks like there's just going to be a port somewhere in the map. So we're going to have to do some exploring. But that is going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you all really enjoyed the first one. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.